Milwaukee police are investigating after an armed man was shot and killed last night by an officer when he tried to enter Milwaukee's VA hospital. Ben Jordan shares the latest on this investigation. Milwaukee's VA hospital just sent an update about 30 minutes ago saying the suspect pointed a gun at police before multiple officers fired shots at him. Police offered first aid on the scene and he was taken to an emergency room, but he died here last night. VA police is requesting our assistance with a male on their premises with a shotgun, no shots fired, just walking around. Hospital supervisors say shortly before 9 o'clock Monday night, officers shot the man multiple times outside the patient entrance after he threatened police and refused to drop his weapon. The hospital says the suspect was not a veteran. Milwaukee police have yet to share the man's name or why investigators believe he came to the hospital with a gun. Otis Winstead is the executive director of Dry Hooch Great Lakes Division, a nonprofit veterans organization with an office right across the street from the VA hospital. He's worried about veterans who were inside the hospital at the time and may have heard the gunfire. That definitely was a trigger last night, how they reacted to it. Based on my experience, depending, depending on the, the, the severity of the PTSD, it could go from zero to ten fast. So I'm sure they were able to contain things and, and kind of de-escalate any situation that might have came up. The VA hospital put out a statement today assuring the community there is no current threat to veterans or employees. The hospital was open at full capacity today. Reporting outside Milwaukee's VA hospital, Ben Jordan, TMJ4 News.